This is my custom printed circuit board that I made at home. Do you wanna know how to do it or even do it yourself? Stick around and I will show you how to do it. First, we need laminated copper sheet that you can find in your local electronic shop or even buy it from eBay for cheap. I already prepared my custom LED design and printed on a glossy sheet of paper with laser printer. Inkjet type of printers won't work. Using a utility knife, make a mark to know where the design ends. Scribe the board deeply on both sides till it's possible to break after that. I place two cutting boards in between my laminated copper sheet and using a force to snap it into two pieces. Using 400 grit sandpaper helps to remove all the debris and oil from the board and keeps it clean for toner transfer method. If you skip this step, you will end up with the bad results. Before applying some heat, I recommend one last time to wipe all the dust with a paper towel. Now we can place printed design and hopefully we end up with a good results. Placing a blank paper on top of it would help to keep it in place while placing the iron. The temperature was set to the maximum and left it for about 1 or 2 minutes so. Then I tried to move the iron slowly to make sure that all ink would be transferred on PCB. By doing this I end up smudging, messing and have a big failure. While the board was hot enough, I tried to peel it and clean it for a second time. What you are seeing right now is a fifth attempt where I find the best way to do it. Just use the low medium temperature where it is hot enough to transfer the ink but not to melt it. Using some weight and slowly moving help it to succeed in this case. Now we need to soak the paper so that it could easily remove it without destroying the design or in this case the circuit traces. I waited about 10-15 minutes until I could see the design and carefully removed the paper by rubbing my finger. You don't ever use sharp tools or you have to do it over again. Now this is the time where I have to inspect your board before doing the etching process. In my case everything looked nice and I didn't need to use any sharpie to fix it. I used sodium persulfate solution with a warm water to etch the copper because it's cheaper and not so dangerous to work with it. You could also use ferric chloride in this case, but be careful. Working with chemicals have all the protection that you need. Gloves, glasses, mask respirator and so on. Moving the container with the etching solution helps to speed up the process and in the end we end up with a perfectly etched copper traces. Now what's left is to clean the ink from the board with acetone or sandpaper. To protect the copper layer from oxidation we need to apply UV solder mask. You can get it cheap from Aliexpress or eBay, in a different kind of sizes or colors. I chose the yellow one because it was easier to work with it. Be patient with this step, it's very hard to get it right on the first try. Later on you will see that I end up with a different color. I used transparent document sleeve to protect the table from spilling all the ink and not making a mess. Using spatula or a plastic card remove all the excess bubbles or imperfections on PCB. Before using UV light, I prepared a sheet of transparent paper with solder pads printed on it and aligned it with the design. By doing this I'm protecting the pads from UV light and not letting it to cure it. And now set a timer for about 40 or 60 seconds and place UV light on top of it. I forgot to mention that, do some tests before doing this step. The time and distance may increase or decrease the cure time. Carefully remove the printed circle board and try not to peel the solder mask or you will have to do it over again. I recommend using rubber gloves because this step is messy. Using acetone and cotton swab clean the pads. If it's hard to remove the excess space, try using razors to scrape it off. As you can see, I end up using red and green color. Transparent paper worked better in the end than document sleeve. It's still not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Congrats, you finally made your first printed circuit board with UE solder mask that not only looks professional, but it keeps your circuits clean and protected. You can see it clear from the video that my solder joints wasn't the best ones because I didn't have enough flux around it, but either way it works how it should. So thank you everyone who watched it to the end and I hope you learned something new from it, or at least enjoyed. If you like this kind of videos or you're interested in something similar, leave a comment below. Tell me what you like the most, or maybe even consider subscribing. If you don't, you know what to do. Oh yeah, don't forget to check the previous video if you have time. Your friend, Flu Sneeze.